good day to you, partner. I'm Dean, and I can already tell that I'll be your best friend in this forsaken cave. Hey guys, Wheat Solo here, aka the Skeleton King. This video is pretty simple, so I can just rap with you guys. Hey, <laughs> rap with you for a while. I'm doing a DPS check on Abyss Knights. Uh, Rin, Rin Rin brought this to my attention. Apparently, the Abyss Knights are getting affected by some of the changes they made to the Rathma summons. Um, which are Abyss Knights, and they're actually getting benefits from some of the damage scaling. Now, it seems to only affect the Fire and the Cold Mages, but for anyone out there who's looking to play a Revive that's not your typical, you know, Council Member, Night Lord from Trav, uh, Cal Frenzy Lords, Uduars, Thrashers, and, like, the two other good physical minions, they're actually pretty good single-target DPS. As you saw, it was 47 skills. They don't even have the CTA on. And... I, again, I'm not calling them good, but like it is fun to use different revives, and the Cold and Fire Abyss Knights are viable, and the Poison one I'd even say isn't like dog shit, so like, you have to avoid them. Now, he does way less damage. I'm not going to say he doesn't. The Cold is doing you know, 3,700, Fire is doing 3,000, and the Poison is doing a few thousand, but at least he also provides a Poison for you. Now, the Magic one is complete dog shit. I don't know why it's like that. Uh, but what I wanted to wrap with you guys about is plans for this season. Rin is really focused on doing revive. I don't, maybe I can't say it. We're going to do a lot of tests with revives. I don't know if there's like an NDA. I don't think it's an NDA, but I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't say things I haven't been told I can say. Anyways, we're going to be looking a lot into revives this season, and you can take that as you will and imagine what that means. And so we should be doing a lot more revive testing. Uh, Rin wants me to help him, and I'm always willing to help Rin out. I haven't heard from him. He's got a family, so I'm sure he's busy, and he'll, you know, talk to me when he's got some free time again. And then, as you also may have noticed, I cut out uh, some of the extended intro. I'd been thinking about doing that for a long time, and I... I always had the same reason. Oh, I like watching it, but you know, I don't need to watch it every time, and sometimes I skip it too. And one of the reasons I actually didn't take it out for a long time is because people asked me to take it out. And so it was partly out of spite and partly because you can just skip the intro if you don't want to watch it. But I kind of went to my original idea, which is I want to have the extended intro for like a special video. So maybe, you know, the Wheat and Woogs podcast, things like that. I'll use the extended intro on those. And then for the rest of my videos, I'll have the truncated version, uh, which will probably just be, you know, better for me too. Because if I really want to watch it, I can just open up my video editing software, right? <laughs> and um, I do like it. It's got a lot of inside jokes in it, but Anyways, uh, I'm looking forward to this season. I'm kind of surprised, but it seems like with the collapse of Diablo 4, Project Diablo 2 has some more life. I still want to finish summons on. I have a lot more work to do on summon doo, -doo. There's going to be DPS checks coming up for summon doo as well. Anyways, guys, still looking out for now. GG. Come and play with us, Danny. Forever.